welcome back. Okay, last project for November from me. I am making my Christmas cards. So I'm using, um, so the whole idea through November, December is trying to use up some of my stash. Um, I have lots of mix and mingle, mingle from Simple Stories Left. So I thought that's what I'd do. Now, I've used a whole box of wax beads to make all these seals. So I've got Christmas tree, the present and the deer. Um, so, and I've done them some one colour, some multiple colours. Some of them I've gone over with some cheap eyeshadow to highlight. This one I've coloured in with the silver metallic pen and I'm going to use this one for this card. So this is 6 by 6 base, so it's 12 by 12 inch card cut in half, scored in half again, we'll give you a 6 by 6 base. I've not got any silver card so I went old school <laughs> and I've just used the pen and coloured it. Um, it would be a lot better with like an alcohol marker or some paint. This is just what I had to hand when I was planning the project. I've then cut a five and a half piece, inch piece of the one of the papers from Mix and Mingle. Um, I have gutted the middle and I think that's like a four and a half inch in the middle so that I can use that card that piece on another card and that's going to be my base layer I knew it was a bad idea throwing all these on here because I just couldn't get in my way um, so I've cut all this part beforehand make this a bit quicker for you and we're just going to put that in the middle of the card I've then got another piece of the card, the paper stock from Mix and Mingle. These are fab to fussy cut. I actually, there's a retreat that I did that we used this kit for as well. Um, and one of the layouts of those fussy cut out. Uh, so, yeah. So this piece is five inch by five inch. So it's a six inch square card, five and a half inch, five inch next layer. So I've used some of this uh, American Seam Winding from Hey Little Magpie. I cut the pieces too short, so I've cut them because I was doing them and they only come to about here and I want them to stick all the way out. So what I've done is I've cut them in half and stuck them directly to the edge of the die cut piece. Now this die is from Hero Arts um, and this was, I said to Sarah, this, Vicky Bootin had done a layout, I think it was, for Hero Arts for their hop release when this was released. And uh, there was some, the two tone sprays you've seen me use on my channel. Um, and I said to Sarah, are you getting these in? Because I need that dye. <laughs> and I love those sprays. This is a JD 3D print star. So I thought this would be great for a Christmas card. Um, now, because I've got a few layers, it's giving me different height on the card. So that's, I'm struggling to get that. It jumped up then and that was my fault because <laughs> I let go too soon. And then using three, the 3D foam pads from 6-2 that I let my pie do, but on the back of my seal. So this is like a really deep purple bead that was in the beads that I used with a silver bead and then I've coloured the deer in silver. Let me just grab the name of the beads. So the beads I used are Jewel in the Crown and as I said I've used the whole box. There's a couple of other little bits I've done that I've shown you uh, in a reel on um, Insta. So I did those as well. They're going to be on a layout next month when I start having Christmas photos to scrap. Or I might get, get really ro retro and do an old one. I also did these little tiny ones as well. So that's got the bird and they're the, the 
tied in a bow. So, yeah, I'm not putting a sentiment on it because I think it says it all. It said if I had some silver card, I'd use silver card for this background, but I didn't have any, so I just used the pen because that's what I had handy. Um, but, yeah, that's the finished card. That's today's project. Just the main focal being that deer with some die cuts and 3D foam, uh, 3D, JD 3D print and some ribbon. Thanks for watching. Bye.